Okay, so uh, I made some changes here. Um, the hand, I made it like a real Spider Man. So um, I chose chose it like this because um, from the previous drawing, I made him. Um, made him like he's not Spider-Man because his hand is just flat like this on the ledge so I drew uh, I redrew the hand and the angle of the the, the arm um, something like this so it's it's more Spider-Man-ish there okay so um, now I'm thinking of of designing the building so uh, maybe I'll just draw little silhouettes of buildings um, maybe dark shadows or uh, just simple buildings because I, I don't want to occupy uh, myself too much on the building than spider-man so maybe I don't know uh, add little smokes around the building or just to um, not that I'm lazy to draw buildings, but just to lessen the uh, the detail of the background rather than Spider-Man. So I'm going to use my needed eraser to erase the entire drawing. Um, th this will really leave the uh, the uh, rough pencil on the paper. Uh, it will not erase uh, everything. It will be. Uh, it will remain on the paper itself. I gotta erase it. Just slightly so I so I can see the uh, construction lines. If I use a different pencil here, maybe a different softness of the pencil, it will take me ages to erase everything because they're really dark and they're really black. So I don't want to use a softer pencil because I will have a hard time erasing it. Even the hardest pencil like H, I think or F uh, will, uh, I will still have a hard time erasing it so I hope you can see it but this the pencil is still there okay this takes me a lot of time to Takes me a while though to erase everything. So, way not to make me uh, confused about the rough roughness and everything, because there there are a bunch of lines on the paper. There, I think this is enough. Okay time to draw the final pencil so this uh, I'm not going to ink it so most most of this shaded area will be shaded using I don't know maybe this or under uh, pencil so okay um, now it's time to draw the, uh, the head of spider-man I want to show that he's wearing a mask I have to show that he's got the ears inside the mask. So I have to draw like
since this is not going to be inked, I have to show a very, very clean rendering of pencil. Like, okay, here I show the creases around his neck just to show that he's wearing a mask. Um, the center of this mask, I'd like to draw a circle. I don't know, maybe in real spider's web, uh, there's a, the, the web where the spider stays, and there's a circle there. I don't know what it is, but I don't know how how a spider um, stayed there for, for like, I don't know, with a big hole, I don't know. Okay, so we need to draw more of the creases around his neck. Yeah. I always draw creases around his outfit, around his body. So I know it's a, it's a costume. Of course, I have to sh also show uh there's there's a person in there so I have to draw parts of it his bodies like muscles and flex muscles okay I need to uh, rotate the paper I need more room I need to put away my tools here. Uh, it's important for me to rotate the paper because most of my lines, uh, when I do the strokes, they always it's always going uh, downwards. There's a little bit creases of the outfit. There. I need a ruler for uh, the ledge of the building, so it's not it's not long, so it's all right. This is just guidelines, so I know what I'm doing here. 
So if you if you look closer at the buildings, you know they're not really perfect straight lines. So I don't need to use the ruler again. So since the building is old, I need to draw the. It's just like they have cracks and chip concretes, something like that. Okay, um, for the design, I don't know what I'm going to do here, so I'll just see if there will be, there's something in my head later. Now to continue the hand, you can barely see the uh, uh, the sketch. The construction line is still there, but I have to be very careful because I'm, if I'm going to erase it with regular eraser, the uh, the construction line behind it will disappear. There is the knuckle. There. I need to erase this because I can't think of anything right now. So I have to concentrate harder on the drawing rather than talking. Okay, now I'm going to look at it in the mirror again to see if there's some um, weird 
position of the anatomy there. Okay. I need to fix some anatomy here. Uh, muscles are not right. Okay, I don't want him to wear like a boot or something. Maybe he's wearing some kind of a soleless uh, shoe or something. Here goes the creases again. So, as you can see, I, I never uh, put shadings yet, so um, I'm going to put that later. I, need, I just need to see uh, the construction of uh, the whole anatomy, so it's easier to erase, because if I put shadings around it, it, um, I'll have a hard time erasing everything, including the shading, so that's how I do it. to look at the mirror again. See if I and no I'm not I'm not really tracing it. <laughs> Don't think I have another paper or something. No, I'm I'm just looking at the mirror. Because sometimes mirror is important when you're doing um, facial expressions um, for the character, especially when you're doing the panels. You, know, you can use your face, how expression, because the basic um, expression we have are smiling and um, being angry or laughing, shouting, you know. But the other expression like um, crazy or anything impossible, you know, like frost eye or anything like that.
<laughs> that's quite far there. So maybe that's that will work. Hmm, still wrong. You always make mistake, you know. Maybe hmm, let's think of it's here. There, I think that's all right. I think a finger is okay. Okay, now for for the building. Maybe I'll just draw the uh, emblem. Uh, Spider-Man's emblem for me is like a diamond shape, so so I'll just draw something like that. See now. Hmm. There. Okay, more design elements. Um, maybe uh, like this. Always remember to uh, follow the shape of the anatomy, like this one. This is cylinders. Like if I draw it like just like that, it will look flat. So I have to show it's a cylinder a shape. You know, it's like it's round. It's like Same as here, yeah. Okay. Now for the boots or the shoe. Um, I was once told that Spider-Man has doesn't have um, up to the knee height of boots, so maybe half, just half. No shadings yet, so um, have to be very careful though. Later. Okay. Looks looks fine. I think. 
looks fine. Okay. Okay, for for the building, and um, I don't know what to do here, so I'll just draw something. Ah, just put more lines here. Okay, um, hmm. I want to draw the webbing. No shadings yet, but I'm going to draw the webbing. Make sure the uh, shape of the head is round and not to confuse everybody that his, his head is flat. So every line should follow the shape of the head. This is where I um, make the uh, the line the other lines disappear. So sometimes shading is important.
here I followed the shape of his um, abdominal muscle and the uh, creases Some artists draw the uh, webbing really wide because it's easier because when you draw the other um, intersection of the web, it will take you ages to finish it. So that's all right. More detail is okay. I have to find the center of the uh, boots here. Now, huh, it's okay, I think. Looking at the mirror, looks fine, I think. And, um, hmm, now for the uh, other red. This will take me forever. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. I'm gonna add more line weights here.
this will be very confusing later, because especially when I do the shading, uh, you know, the shadows and cross hatching. Sometimes when I do my drawings, especially when it's like a painting, it will take me four days uh, with full background and details and everything. Wow, that's this thing is boring. <laughs> it's getting boring. Anyway, it's all right. When you finish it, uh, it's it's overwhelming. It's like wow, I did it. Imagine you're drawing. Spider-Man every panel and doing spider web like this I mean you're gonna go crazy but if you really enjoy drawing especially Spider-Man there's no problem with it The uh, penciler sometimes, um, when he draw a uh, character or a commission, it takes him like a whole day just to finish one. That's just pencil. There's no ink. Imagine if every day you're doing uh, two, uh, five five different Spider-Man man. It's gonna be like forever.
Wow, we're almost done. So the last uh, web webbing should meet or else you're screwed. <laughs> Okay, we're done with Spider-Man thing. Oh, there's the other arm. I thought we're finished. See, what if you, you're doing uh, 20 pages of story and Spider-Man is always there? What if you forgot one of uh, maybe parts of his outfit? without webbing but you know the technique is when you draw spider-man uh, like in a small figure you don't need to draw every web of this outfit so I think I have to rest and see if there's something wrong with the webbing. So far, so good, I think. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Right, uh, now I need to rest and see if I can do the shading and then the background, or maybe background and the shading. So I can also this design element of the uh, New York building. Ah, I need to rest. <laughs>